Hey peoples, Karina here. Real quick video. Do you provoke others to jealousy? Here's a way to find out. Now, sometimes people can just be jealous of you when you smile because they think that you don't have anything going on in your life that bothers you. Now, if you know a person is dealing with some stuff, say if a person just broke up with somebody they don't need you calling them telling uh telling them about how you just met someone or vice versa or if somebody got a foreclosure notice on their home and you just came into a big long sum of money and you're calling that friend to tell them when you know that they have a need and you say money is just, it's no object, it's its a tool, and I go on vacations at will. You can't dump on people who are not ready or in a headspace to receive what you have to say, bad or good. There's times that I've had good things happen to me that I wanted to share so bad, but I say, wait a minute, let me text my friend first and make sure they're in a good headspace before i share because i don't want to call them and be like girl guess what guess what guess what such and such and such and such happened to me how do you feel about that and then they start telling you what happened to them and it kind of like or vice versa you're having a bad day and they call you and they want to dump all the good on you there are times that people will go through stuff that they will not tell you that hurts them and because they want to be a good friend they will listen to you. But when does that listening ear become a fucking toilet or a trash can for people to dump on? You know, you can provoke people to jealousy by being braggadocious. Me, I don't care how much or how little I have. If you call me with a problem and I can solve it. And I say that I love you and I rock with you. Love is an action word. Best believe I am there for you. If I tell you that and I am in the predicament to help you in any type of way. If that's nothing but putting in a good word for you at my job to get you on to get something coming into your home. Or whatever. I'm there for you. Or if maybe I had a little bit of extra money left over this month and you a little short because you my bestest, I'm going to help you. And you ain't got to pay me back. Why? Because love is an action word and that's something I'm learning. I have a friend that does so much for me that never says like, I love you. I love you. I love you. But the action is there. I've always been one of those people that wanted to have both. Tell me and show me. But if I had to pick one, I'd rather you show me. Don't tell me. Because if you all up my ass and blowing smoke up my ass. But when the rubber meets the road. If you are not there in the thick of things when shit gets crazy. Don't try to come around when it gets better. Because true friendships are seen when you are at your lowest. So don't provoke anybody to jealousy. And don't answer those calls when you know that's exactly what the conversation is going to be. Or at least call first and ask or text first and ask, are you in a headspace to receive good news? Are you in a headspace to receive bad news? And that's even exchange of energy because if I'm all the way low low down and you call and tell me some good news is good for you but it's in an area where I am hurting what you're going to do is provoke jealousy in me or vice versa I could provoke jealousy in you so find out where your friends are in the headspace I cannot say that enough before you start unloading good or bad more videos coming and I'm out.